Well, well, well. You think you're cool, don't you, Notion? You think you can just drop new features whenever you want, like the new wiki feature. So for those of you that are unaware, something that's really cool is that you can take a page like this and turn it into a wiki very easily. So wikis are places where you can essentially showcase all the coolness of processes in an organized format. And Notion's got some pretty cool stuff in the details of wikis. So going to the three dots on the top right here, you can turn a page into a wiki. So by doing this, what we get is a couple additional things now. So first on the left, you'll see what looks like a database almost. So it's uh, called a collection. So we got the home view here, then we got an all pages view, and then we have a pages I own view, which is going to be filtered to the owner being me. So this is very interesting because then it almost showcases all the different pages in a database view and we're able to tag these different things add dates to them add various properties to them but they're not it didn't seem like they're necessarily in a database because when we then go to the home view you're able to move them around and then when you go into one they then have the properties on the top it's very interesting so going back to the home page once again you'll see one other cool thing that's capable right here which is the search function so obviously you can press Control p on anything but it's just nice that you've pressed this search button and then what pops up here is a quick search for an in-page look at what is on this wiki. So like, for example, if I just press Control P, it's not gonna do what was there. Uh, what you'll have to do in order to make that the case is go to product wiki or type anything and then you'll have that option now on the top to press this and then if you could see this, I can just press the top thing there and it's gonna bring up like the, the page that I'm in. So now it's gonna do that exact same view. So it's very interesting how they've managed to like integrate the search functionality with like a quick button press there. So then as we can see from here, if we open this up, this is essentially filtered to tag contains process. So this is all the different views of the pages. So for example, how to conduct user research, it's right here, had count allocation, is right here. So this is just filtered to a specific tag. So like, for example, if I were to go into how to conduct user research, you'll see that it has all the different properties here. And I can um, add more properties and add a very interesting one that a lot of people are talking about right now, which is, first of all, let me click on this, change it from hide property to always show. And then we'll see that we have the different properties like owner tags and, and, and they kind of just look better. Like I want it just like looks better from like a, a wiki standpoint. Um, by having like a left to right view of the different properties rather than top down, which would take up more screen real estate. We can click on this and we can verify the page, which is really cool. So for those of us that need to continuously update processes, we can verify this for like 30 days. So until May 13th, or in this case we can do for 90 days, we can pick a specific date. So for companies that have stuff that needs to be updated on a basis that's different than any of these options here. And we also can choose to pick indefinitely here. And that would just showcase verified like forever. So until you need to change it or you have to change it, you can just keep it like that. And then from there, this functions very similarly to like a hybrid between pages and and like databases with linked database views and linked pages. It's just rather than me clicking on this, and me having to like hide the top section, it's just gonna show in a different way. Now I'm sure you're asking what happens if I hide everything? So if I hide all of the different ones, it is gonna collapse that, which I think is really cool. So it then just turns it into a product wiki, right? That has the ability to move pages around without needing them to be linked. But then if I, for example, delete headcount allocation, it'd go away in this linked database. So I'm gonna press undo here but it's, it's a much different experience, even though it's really close to being the same thing. And then if I wanna bring these properties back, I go to customize page by going to the top right and go to customize page. And then you'll see right here, I can change these two. Okay, let's do always show. And now I can bring these back. So I really like the way that this is structured. I really like the feel of it. I like the fact that I like can change this Notion app system to quickly have a search navigation, like as a public page. 
I think this is, is a great improvement on things. And I can tag these different pages and, and verify whether they're up to date or not. And, and that's just, that's way better than like manually making a property that shows like work in progress. I, I, I just, I, I am a little bit baffled that this wasn't implemented earlier, but I'm not gonna complain whatsoever. And it's not like, oh, like why wasn't here? It's just like, I'm very glad that it's here. So thank you, Notion. And thank you for checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.